And you say you have practiced over 20 modalities and learned over. Yeah. What were people saying to you when you were doing this? Because I know you had oh. to meet some resistance. And I like to talk about resistance because there's usually internal and external resistance where you're going to start something new like a business. Right. Absolutely. So it started yoga was what I like to jokingly call my gateway drug, as I think for a lot of people it was yoga or energy healing. Um, and I kept trying different healing arts, thinking that this would be the one I was looking for the one that was going to be, oh, this one business that then I'll start and I'll leave my day job. But none of them was the right thing. And so I just started pulling them together and learning different pieces. Um, and I had a lot of freedom having a six figure job and figuring, okay, I'll, I'll study uh, shamanic journeying. I'll study energy healing. I'll study shiatsu body work. I studied astrology with a teacher in Guatemala online for six months. And uh, it was a great adventure. And I love getting to weave all of it into business coaching. That's so extraordinary. Like just, I, I am. So when I was in school, people would ask, what was I going to be when I grew up? And mm -hmm. I would say a student, right? Because oh, I great. always wanted to be learning something. So when I thought I would say either an entrepreneur or I would be taking courses, like, and mm -hmm. I always, I didn't understand, like I could not have, it was almost like intuitive in a way. Because I could not have had the foresight to know what courses there would be for me to be taking. I, yeah, I, re I remember people asking me that. And I always thought I wanted to be a veterinarian and then a biology teacher. And then I, my master's degree is in psychology. And then I got into human resources, working with people. But I couldn't see past age 30. Like, I remember thinking, I have no idea what my life is going to be like past this age. No idea. And I, I wouldn't know how to describe this, <laughs> what I'm doing now to pass me. It wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. Like I, I had no idea. And, and what I do now is I take courses. I'm constantly learning. If I'm not yeah. taking a course, a, a paid course, I'm taking a free course. If I'm not, not taking a free course, I'm on YouTube learning stuff. You yeah. know, and I'm constantly trying to to grow and gain knowledge. And I went to college for all of these years and I just kept learning things, you know, mm -hmm. and I love learning. But it there's nothing better because it's constantly keeps you from being stuck in life. Mm -hmm. And it's constantly leading you somewhere. So I had no idea what, but I just saw classes. Like when I was maybe 16 or 15, I thought I'd be taking all these classes and I am in a way, but I could have yeah. not predicted I'd be studying online all the time and having zoom meetings and having Facebook communities to, to be a part of and all of these things. It's, it's incredible what we have the opportunity to do. So there's no reason when people like you exist mm -hmm. to be stuck and to feel like you're stagnated in, in life. It's about going out there and putting yourself out there. And I, I mentioned the free courses because look, you can join your Facebook community yeah. mm -hmm. and you don't have to pay a dime for that. And you can get a lot of information from there, you know, and until you can afford or save the money to, to get a mentor Absolutely. or take a course or to hire you to push yourself out of your comfort zone and start something new in life. 